Hi everyone, are you looking for a slightly unusual or slightly quirky wedding venue in Hampshire in the UK? Well stick around because in this video I'm telling you about my top 5 quirky and unusual wedding venues in Hampshire. For more videos like this as well as camera gear reviews and other tips and tricks then do please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Hello there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenny and I am a wedding photographer and family portrait photographer in Hampshire in the UK. For those of you who don't know, Hampshire is one of the home counties. Uh, the home counties are the counties that surround London and Hampshire is to the west of London and actually includes part of the south coast. So it is quite a large area and it has a lot of beautiful wedding venues in the middle of the countryside as well as along the coast. But I'm here to tell you about five wedding venues which has something else to offer, um, which are slightly unique and maybe a little bit quirky. Okay, to start off, I'm starting with not one, but actually several options in Winchester. Did you know that Winchester Cathedral has a variety of venues which can house your reception? And you don't need to have been married at the cathedral itself. They range from the Undercroft, which was once part of the medieval monastery's cloisters, to secret walled gardens and also you can have the, the biggest marquee on the cathedral lawn. So it's worth having a look to see if any of those suit your needs. Second on the list is Turnbury Woods Estate. It's basically 50 acres of your own woods and access to your own private shoreline which overlooks the Chichester Harbour. So you can actually arrive by boat or by helicopter if you wanted to. This venue is really lovely and has a feeling of being away from it all but still being very close to the main cities in Hampshire. Third on the list is Horsebridge Station. You can get married on the station and have your confetti throw on the tracks. Don't worry, it is disused and so it's not attached at all to any of the live lines in the area. And it's also fully converted to host only a select few weddings during the year. So if you wanted to get married at a station in the middle of a quiet English countryside, then take a look at Horsebridge Station. So what do you think of these so far? I hope you like them and if you do, click the like button. Fourth on the list again are a selection of venues but I'm classing it as one because they're all part of the Solent Forts. So you can get married off the coast of Portsmouth in either a really tiny fort or a medium sized fort or a big fort. If you choose any of these, it feels like you are on your own private island. There's only one boat in and out during the day, so once your guests are on there, they can't escape. They are, of course, free to explore the whole fort from top to bottom and with a guide if necessary. One of them also has a few luxurious rooms which you can hire out so that you and a select few of your guests can stay overnight a bit longer and enjoy the hot tub on your own private fort. Fifth on the list is King Settle Studs Trolldreton Estate. This venue is on an organic farming estate and features repurposed Victorian stables and barns. There is an arboretum and a stone circle where you can hold humanist ceremonies, a light bright barn to hold your reception and also the stables are still intact which you can use for a variety of things like maybe sweet stalls or a dress up or a photo booth area etc etc. Thanks so much for watching. These are just five unique and unusual wedding venues in Hampshire but if you wanted to read more about an extra five then take a look at the description box down below because I will link my blog post there entitled my top 10 quirky unusual wedding venues in Hampshire. That's it for this video. If you are looking for hotels or barns or weddings in the woods in the New Forest, also part of Hampshire, then do take a look at the video that I made about that. Um, I'll link it up here and also in the description box down below.
Do please like this video and share it with your friends or family if they are wedding planning and I'll see you again next week. Bye!